back with yet another amazing recipe. I am so excited, yet another day. Because today at the Young's house, Jeannie Young is going to share with you all how easy it is to make delicious nachos. These nachos right here are amazing. They're so easy to make. Doesn't require a lot of ingredients. And if you make a Jeannie Young style, it's going to be so tasty, hands down. Y'all never had my nachos? Better make you some. Here are the lovely ingredients you're going to need. You will need some rotisserie chicken. Now, I was able to find rotisserie chicken that's already been shredded and taken off the bones. You may be able to find that in your local market. And if not, just get a whole rotisserie chicken. Okay, so you will need some queso. We have some queso cheese here, right there. We have sour cream, of course, if you love sour cream. And if you don't, use ranch. We have some salsa here, jalapenos, we have Doritos, and we have nachos. Make sure your hands are impeccably clean. Let's get started with this fun recipe, Jeannie Young style. It's Friday night here at the Young's house, and my family wanted some nachos. I just wanted to step in and do this really quick, simple recipe for you all and show you how we eat nachos here at the Young's house. Now, I do have to admit, sometimes I will take some ground beef, okay, and brown it up, drain the oil off of it, and put some taco seasoning onto the meat using about a half a cup of water and let that ground beef cook in with the half a cup of water, the taco seasoning, and then you can use the ground beef on top of your nachos if you want it to. But today, I was filling the chicken. So what do we have to do? When you have your chicken, uh, let's just say you have leftover chicken, you need to take the skin off, of course, and chop it up a little bit, or shred it as much as you can. Or you may be able to find, you know, chicken like this already prepared in your local market. Anymore, you can find rotisserie chicken like this. So what I wanna do, it's really peppered very well. I do wanna salt it just a little bit of salt to give us some nice flavor. Okay, and we're gonna heat this up on a medium heat just to get it nice and hot. Okay, and then I have this beautiful queso dip. It's delicious this way, but it tastes even better when you heat it up. So I'm gonna heat up a nice amount of it just like so. And I decided that, see, some of us like the Doritos, those, those cheesy Doritos, but then some of us like the plain tortillas. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna mix them both. Okay, I'm going to put one half side with tortillas, one other half side with the cheesy Doritos. So let's get everything nice and warmed up. And when I come back, I want to chop up my jalapenos. So before we get started chopping up our jalapenos, I want to talk about what's going to happen tomorrow afternoon. Really, really exciting. So now over on the new channel, Healthy Recipes with Gina. What we're gonna do, we're gonna release an amazing video. In that video, I'm gonna show you all how to make a healthy, but yet so delicious pan seared chicken with vegetables. You're gonna wanna watch this recipe. Take notes if you need to. It's gonna be a great recipe. So make sure you go over, subscribe, click on the notification bell, and make sure you press all. You don't wanna miss this video that's going to premiere tomorrow. So let's get started chopping up our jalapenos for this recipe. I couldn't be more excited about tomorrow. And also, guess what? Tomorrow, Jeannie Young is going live. We are going live. We're doing a live cooking session. And give me a second, guys, and I'll be right back. Sorry about that, everybody. So my husband was just telling me that LeBron N6, and he's taking curry out tonight. So that's what the message is. So I'm sorry about that, just to let you know if you, if you didn't know. Okay, so let's continue to chop up our jalapenos, just like so, and I really want to make them nice and small. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. I hope y'all are having a great day today with God on your side. Somebody out there, anybody out there in the comment section, let me know, do you love nachos? Nachos is a staple here at the Young's house. Like, come on, y'all, who doesn't love chips? 
filled with the nacho cheese and jalapenos. Listen here. And then you throw some chicken on it. You got a match made in heaven. And we are going to enjoy these nachos today. So let's take a peek in over here at our chicken. It's beginning to get nice and warm. And I tell you what, it smells good. Oh, wait, yes it does. And that little bit of salt kind of wakens it up a little bit because this was cold. Like I said, when I pre-tasted it, I could taste the pepper going all through it, but I felt like it needed a little bit of salt. Let's take a peek in over here at the cheese. It's doing exactly what I want it to do. I'm excited. And I hope you're excited because this recipe, you can make it too. Make you some. So now, before my husband started talking about LeBron, I was going to tell you all that tomorrow, Jeannie Young is going live. I'm going to show you all. Now, this will be tomorrow, Saturday, at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm gonna show you all how to make a delicious dish. It's one of my childhood favorite dishes and it's so easy to make and like literally, it only requires like three ingredients, three or four at the most. It is delicious, quick and simple to make, it's cost effective. You're gonna to wanna to be there. You want to look at the community post. When you look at the community post, you're gonna see um, where I posted all the ingredients that what you're gonna need so we can cook along together what we do we cook along together during the live after we're done cooking I say an amazing prayer we eat together and then we chit chat for a couple hours so I can't wait to see you all there it's gonna be a big turnout so now let's get started making nacho all right here's what we're gonna do yes <laughs> who's excited somebody's excited right now I know you are. I, the world loves nachos. But I, I, I just have to say this, and maybe you may feel the way I feel. I feel like the movie theaters have the best nachos ever, right? All they give you, they give you that plastic container with nachos, the sauce, and just maybe four jalapenos. And it's like the best, right? Does anybody out there agree with me? If you agree, say something in the comment section. All right, so now we have our little platter here, just like so. And I want to put this hot chicken on. Oh my goodness. Oh, this chicken is so delicious. You hear me? Oh, you bet it is. All right. Put that just like so. And if your loved ones want extra toppings, there's always gonna be extra toppings left over that they can put on top of their plate if they'd like. Look at this, this is a, mm, mm, mm. All right, and so now jalapenos, but we're not gonna put it on until we put our cheese sauce on. Load that baby with cheese sauce, right? You can't go wrong with it. And if you want sour cream and or even ranch dressing, put you some on there. And I feel like if you love black olives, guess what the black olives is gonna do? It's gonna really make your dish pop with color. And even green onions if you want if you wanted to. You know, look at that. Oh, I could be more excited. Okay, so now we're gonna go in with some salsa. Here we go. Okay, just kind of dollop it. Just like so. Not too much, because there is a such thing as using too much salsa, and then your nachos could get soggy. So what I suggest is you have little bowls aside. And then you can put the salsa, you know, they can put their own salsa on their chips as they make their plate. But if you're sharing, look at this. You could do something like this. Oh, wait at the good, Gina. It is good, and you have to try it because it's simple, easy to make, and it didn't hardly cost anything. Look at that. That's what I call nachos. Now, can't forget about the sour cream. All right, let's grab a fork here. If I haven't said, I hope y'all are having a great day today. I hope y'all are having an amazing Friday. Get ready for Saturday because we're gonna have a lot of fun here at the Young's house. This is what I like to call Jeannie Young's nachos. Easy peasy, delicious. <laughs> you better make you some. Listen here, everybody. Mm -hmm. If y'all enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Tell your family and friends and everybody you know, hey, tell the whole world about Jeannie Young, what I'm doing in this kitchen on a daily basis. How about we say a prayer? And after the prayer, we're gonna, we're gonna give a like. 
Heavenly Father, we like to thank you today and every day. Lord, we thank you for this beautiful meal, for your love time, your mercy, and your understanding. Please forgive us for our sins. Come into our hearts and make you our Lord and Savior. Send your angels down to surround us day and night. Your Holy Spirit to help us make good decisions. Give us peace over our minds in the name of Jesus. No weapons formed against us shall prosper. We bind the devil away from us in Jesus' name. Devil, you stand no chance. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the roof over our head, the food, the love, peace, and the joy you bring us every day. Amen. Amen once again to my beautiful prayer. Happy Friday to you all. Let's take a bite. This one right here. Oh, this is it. That one's calling my name. Oh my goodness. You can feel the warmth of the cheese sauce, the chicken, it smells so good. Look at the jalapenos and the salsa. Take a bite. Let me know what y'all think. Easy peasy nachos, Jeannie Young style. God bless you all. Thanks for watching. Good night.